What is going on everybody? It's your boy Blank Online here today to chat with you more about some Call of Duty Warzone and skill-based matchmaking within Warzone because at the moment skill-based matchmaking as a topic is sort of blowing up and imploding in the community and people are arguing with each other on the the necessity and the need to expose skill-based matchmaking here in warzone but before i go any further in the video if you haven't done so already make sure you click that subscribe button because we are very close to 1000 subscribers and any help to get me there would be very much appreciated but let's get into the video at hand so skill-based matchmaking we all know what skill-based matchmaking is and we all know why it's a problem in call of duty you're either for or you're against skill-based matchmaking i'd argue that most of the people watching this video right now are against skill-based matchmaking just to run everyone up and just to catch everybody up if you're not too sure on skill-based matchmaking because i know not a lot of people are basically skill-based matchmaking is an algorithm that, that puts you against people within your same skill bracket so say if you're if you have a i don't know a 1.75 kd ratio you're going to be matched up with players who have pretty much the same kd ratio or there or thereabouts in your respective lobbies Skill-based matchmaking protects players from going into those sweatier lobbies or experiencing players who are of a higher skill level. So say, for example, you're just brand new, fresh to the game. You're not going to come up against the top 10% of players in the world. At the moment right now, I'm part of the top percent of the world in Black Ops Cold War. And I'm pretty sure I'm, in, I'm only like top 30% in the world for Warzone right now. So it, say, for example, if I were to go into a game solo queue into Cold War, I would come up against players who are within that same bracket of the top percent of players in the world it's an issue because it removes the sort of the the casual aspect of gaming the idea that you can just hop into a game and just have fun skill based matchmaking as a whole for me eliminates that fun factor i can't play call of duty casually anymore i can't just go in and play by myself because i need to have people around me in order to make the game fun and if i need to have people around me in order to make the game fun then what's the point in buying the game for myself so that's a basic sort of rundown on skill-based matchmaking. Now, this is sort of imploding in the Call of Duty community because people are arguing on whether or not this method needs to be exposed or not. And, and people are arguing like, oh, you're going to ruin it for everyone. You're going to ruin it for, for the gamers. You're going to ruin it for the streamers or, f or for the tournament people or whatever. Like, shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. Oh, honestly, like... it. it if you're one that, that that's arguing and and saying that exposing this method is gonna ruin it for everyone else shut the fuck up the reason that this method is i'm gonna expose this method in this video and the reason that this method needs to be exposed is because skill-based matchmaking as a system needs to be exposed it, it, we, why are we meant to be punishing players who are just somewhat decent at the game why are we pu punishing players who have some sort of uh, attachment to call of duty or, or like the call of duty franchise enough to be playing the game like if anything skill-based matchmaking wasn't even a thing back in the day or if it was a thing it was very very minute in in how it affects matchmaking so why what what's the what's so different from someone who is not as good as the game now coming up against someone who's good at the game compared to 10 years ago or compared to five years ago even there's no difference. It, it's a completely different thing. People are just fucking pussies nowadays. People are just want to be protected. People want to be protected by Daddy Activision. Anything that will give them some sort of protection in their lobbies. Just shut the fuck up, man. Like, on, honestly, I, I don't understand this infatuation with sort of protecting people who who maybe don't even want to be protected maybe they just want to play the game and if they just want to play the game that's fair that's fair enough let them just play the game but playing the game means that you play against a random pool of players that are best for your connection and not a, a, a pool of players who are best for your skill level because on a peer-to-peer -peer base multiplayer shooter connection should come first and within the call of duty franchise connection does not come first that is why skill-based matchmaking should not be a thing, not only for connection, but as well as that for just a general casual fun factor of the game as well. Not everyone wants to sweat it out every game. And I've said this multiple times. Not everyone wants to be a sweaty tryhard every single time they pick up the sticks or they pick up the mouse and keyboard and play this game. And that's something that skill-based matchmaking does to the top 30% of players, I'd say. To, to everyone else, it's probably looking more like a casual experience and a fun time. But to the top 30% of the, of the world, it's a sweaty mess. 
every single time you play the game. And I'm, I don't think everyone wants the sweaty mess every time. I'm sure, there might be some people, but I think the general consensus is that most people don't want that. People on Twitter are fighting, saying, oh my gosh, why are you exposing this? Why are you doing this? Why, why, why would you do this? Why would, why would you expose this method so that everyone can use it? You're going to kill the kids. You're going to kill the kids. Fuck the kids. Fuck the kids. Honestly, fuck them kids. Who gives a fuck? We didn't give a shit back in the day. Back in the day, if you're good at Call of Duty, you were good at Call of Duty. If you were blowing up on YouTube because you were good at Call of Duty, it was because you were good at Call of Duty. Not because you used this method in order to get good gameplays or get world record Warzone kill gameplays. That shit, did, that shit wouldn't fly back in the day. Back in the day, if you got a high kill gameplay, if you got a double Moab, if you did some crazy shit, you did some crazy shit. And that's because you as a player were good at the game. Not because you exploited a system to get that gameplay. Not because you exploited a system and then lied about exploiting the system and then did things to cover up exploiting the system to, in order to get this good gameplay. Like, come on, man. That's not how shit worked back in the day. And unfortunately, that's how shit works now. All right, I'm going to tell you guys how to do this because I don't really give a shit if you do it. Personally, for me, I can't be bothered to do this method and I can't really be bothered to, to exploit skill-based matchmaking in this way, uh, mainly because I can't be bothered. But if you guys want to go ahead and do it, go ahead and do so. I'm exposing this method because skill-based matchmaking as a system needs to be exposed and it needs to be seen of how easy it is to exploit because this method is not hard at all. I just don't necessarily want to do it because it goes against my morality. But if you guys want to go ahead and do so, I don't really care because it's a, it's going to be a one step forward into exposing skill-based matchmaking for the absolute mess that it is. This method has been going on for quite some time and i don't know why it's blowing up right now and it's a fairly easy thing and it's, it's something that's been around in the community for quite some time now but i'm going to tell you guys exactly how to do it basically what you want to do is you want to get a second account account that has never touched call of duty before account that has never played shot a gun threw a grenade done anything in the game or any game or any call of duty game whatsoever so when you get that fresh account you're going to go into a war zone lobby once you get into that war zone lobby with that fresh account join that account on your main personal account so the account that you use to play warzone join a game find a match do whatever you want to do using that bot account as your party leader and once you head into a game make that bot account leave leaving only your personal account there in the lobby now, the reason that this works and the reason that we know this works is a website called SBMM Warzone. Now, this website will show you the KD ratios of the or the median KD ratio and the average KD ratio and then the top KD ratio of every single Warzone lobby that you go into. Results are found and the results from the people who are in quotation marks blowing up on YouTube right now because of their world record gameplays is that the lobbies that they are finding is of people who have a medium of 0.6 or 0.7 KD and then their top percentage is like not even barely scraping a point a, a one a, a positive one that is a bot lobby that is the definition of a bot lobby if no one in your lobby or most of the people in your lobby have a 0.7 KD a 0.7 now, this has gone on for quite some time now, as I said. Most people know exactly how to do this. This, this will most likely work in, war, in in Cold War as well. It's just not as um, uh, as easy to trace or as easy to track because we don't have this SBMM Cold War website. We have SBMM Warzone. So, and, and if I'm honest, this is something I've been doing for fucking ages, man. Like, I've been doing this for so long. It, it, this is this is why I don't play the game by myself. I play the game with people who aren't as good as me so I can get easier lobbies. I've been doing this shit for ages. And I don't know why people are getting upset. Personally for me, I won't go to the extent of fucking going like making another account just to find an easy game. Like that's not me. I wouldn't really, like personally ever do that. But like I play with people who aren't as good as Call of, at Call of Duty as me, mainly because they haven't played Call of Duty for as long as me. And that's fair enough. And I've been doing that just cuz they're my mates. So it's like I, I don't know it's it's not it's not that hard to do it's really not that hard to do especially in warzone it's not that hard to do in warzone you'll never hear me complain about skill-based matchmaking in warzone rarely ever i'll only really comp uh, complain about skill-based matchmaking in the normal call of duty cold war multiplayer or in the modern warfare 2019 multiplayer because in warzone i don't really feel it as much 
Warzone, I don't really get affected by it as much unless I'm playing solos or unless I'm playing with people who know how to play Call of Duty. That's the only real time I'll complain about it because there's a couple times where I'm playing the game just either by myself or I'm playing with players who know how to play Call of Duty. And then I look at SBMM Warzone and I see like the, I'm in the top 30% of lobbies in the world and like the, uh, the median KD is like two. And I'm just like, all right, here we go. This, 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 this is going to be an interesting lobby. Um, but then when I play with players who you like, just play Call of Duty casually. Don't take it too seriously. I don't have a YouTube channel about it or that sort of stuff. Then then the median drops to like a 0 0.8, 0 0.9. And then I can sort of deal with it then. Um, but in Cold War, it's, it's fucked. It's, Cold War's fucked. Cold War multiplayer's fucked in terms of skill-based matchmaking. And I don't know. I'm not going to do this shit to fix it. Because I don't really like, I don't know. It's just not me. But anyways, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below, what do you think about this whole exploit to get around skill-based matchmaking in Warzone? Have you done it already? Are you planning on doing it? If you plan on doing it, more power to you. Because honestly, this system is fucked and it needs to be exploited and it needs to be exposed for the system that it is. Click subscribe if you're new here. As I said at the start of the video, we're getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers and I'm very, I can taste it. I can taste the thousand subscribers. So help me go ahead and get there. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Can't you see the bandage on my face? Uh, Why the light of city, that's my place. Uh, don't you touch the money, that's my case. Uh, ride around the city like you know the place. Killing everybody like you know the base. Uh, Stealing all the cars, then you go race. Uh, fucking everybody, you don't know the name.